Hello friends, Neeraj here. In this video lecture, we discuss expression vectors. Friends, after getting a large copy number of our gene of interest, after the cloning experiment, now another task is to get the protein of our interest in the particular host system. And for doing so, we need to have the expression vector and expression vectors are specifically meant for the protein expression in a particular cell and they are usually made from the plasmid DNA or the viral DNA right and the expression vectors do have many more characteristics which are similar to that of the cloning vectors but they have certain additional characteristics and those additional characteristics are very very important for the protein expression as well as the purification. So here some important characteristics of the expression vector are the first of all they should have very very strong promoters right so that at the end we get the large amount of the mRNA and consequently the proteins. Apart from getting the large amount of the mRNA, we should also need to have the stable RNA and for that a strong promoter is required. So many promoters which are used as a strong promoter in the expression vectors are T7 promoter which is bacteriophage in origin, another vector, another uh, strong promoters are the LAC promoter also. Many times we use TAC promoter also. So TAC promoters are nothing but the hybrid of the LAC promoter and tryptophan promoter. At 35, minus 35, we add the sequence which is there in the tryptophan operon promoter. And it has been seen that TAC promoters are five times more efficient than that of the LAC promoter. Many times we use lambda pl promoters this is the phage promoter apart from having the strong promoter we need to have the transcriptional termination site so that at the end of the transcription it should be terminated okay and in between that in between the promoter this is promoter and this is the transcriptional terminator in between that we should have certain very specific sequences the first is the MCS we should have MCS in between that so MCS is nothing but the multiple cloning site in which we have certain set of restriction enzyme sites so that we can cleave as per the availability of the restriction enzyme and we can insert our gene of interest over there and uh, that can be expressed finally apart from that we should have RBS ribosomal binding site just before the gene of interest and after the promoter sequence this is the RBS so RBS should be either SD sequence signed Algernon sequence SD sequence which is in the prokaryotes whereas if you would like to have the eukaryotic host then we should use COSAC sequence right so COSAC sequence this is in the eukaryotic system so that ribosome can bind efficiently and then they translate into the specific peptides next we need to have a inducible expression system that is required because many times what happens the proteins expressed either in the less amount or in the high amount may be toxic for the cell right so we need to express the protein in an optimum amount for that we need to have the inducible expression system so that we can control the expression and normally we use IPTG if we use LAC promoter or the TAC promoter in that case we can use IPTG as the inducer apart from that the other inducers may also be used depending upon the need many times temperature can also play a very important role in the induction of the expression apart from that a very very important 
thing which is or which should be there in the expression vector is the expression tag because at the end we need to purify that protein right so in the vector preparation itself we need to add a purification tag so that the protein express along with that purification tag and normally we use histidine histidine tag his tag normally you we use as a purification tag so that we can purify the protein on the nickel nta column this is a very efficient method of purification of the recombinant protein 6x histidine has been used here six times the histidine would be there in the protein another most important thing is the fusion protein insert or tag should be there what we do actually whatever gene of interest we insert here that should be along with the purification tag so that at the end of the expression we can come to know that yes expression took place so many a times we use gfp right green fluorescent protein we tag along with our gene of interest so that your expressed protein will give the fluorescence and we came to know that yes our expression system is working well apart from that many a times we uh, face the problem of solubility of the protein right so proteins will be less soluble many a times right and they they uh, precipitate as inclusion body so what we do we use glutathione s transferase glutathione s transferase as well as many a times we use maltose binding protein right maltose binding proteins right so these are nothing but the fusion protein i mean we we clone the gene for the glutathione s transferase as well as the maltose binding protein along with our gene of interest so that they express along with them and it increases the solubility of our protein of interest so that inclusion body want to be formed so these are the few important characteristics of the expression vector here the uh, typical structure of a uh, expression vector is this is promoter that we um, discussed then this is rbs then this is mcs where you can insert your gene of interest along with the fusion insert or tag this is the purification tag normally use 6x histidine his tag his tag normally we use then this is the origin of replication then selectable marker should be there so that we can come to know that yeah our gene of interest has been transformed into the host cell so that's it friend i hope this video is useful for you thank you thank you very much